It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Hart. This homestand ends here for the Clippers as they get ready to hit the road. Their last encounter was in New Orleans where they were able to handle the Pelicans. They come into this one feeling good about the matchup. They've taken both games so far this season. Tell you what, the fans certainly got their money's worth in that game. It was a battle and a really gritty win for that club, Clark. Tell you what, Steve, they saved their best for last that day. A lot of toughness on display in that overtime. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, the backcourt, Holiday and Gordon. Evans and Davis are your small and power forwards. And it's Z at the five. So it's the Pelicans now following Chris Paul's three-point attempt. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. Well, you often think of the Clippers as being an updated version of Showtime. They know how to grind out and get a win, too. Yeah, I thought they were a little better defensively. They have guys that will certainly give you highlight reel material. Um, but they're smart in how they attack teams and how they finish games, too. Now, here is Davis. Back to Paul. Jordan sets the pick for Paul. Shot clock at five. And again, no good by the Clippers. On defense, the Clippers, defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Then you know, coming down the stretch in that game, they didn't have all the guys they would have liked on the floor because of the foul trouble they were in. And as a result, Steve, they had to back down a little bit so they wouldn't get themselves into even more foul trouble. He kicks to Douglas Roberts. Back to Paul. Let's it go. That one wide left. Well, I hope they start getting warmed up here soon. That's 0 for 4 to this point. Holiday. And that one's good. Holiday's got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Pelicans. The Clippers have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. Now here's Paul. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Washington. And Kevin, a remarkable night for him, passing the ball, just racking up the assists. Well, they needed that one finally. That's just one of five now overall. Here's Holiday, following the score by Jamal Crawford. Gordon kicks to Holiday, passes it to Evans. Trying to find Davis, he's got it now. Outside Holiday, and there's the pass to Gordon. From outside, off the mark. The Clippers have gone just one for five in the field to start the quarter. Paul with the ball, and it's Gordon picking him up. Jordan kicks to Paul, and they double up Paul. Back to Jordan. Fires the three, and the basket by Douglas Roberts. Douglas Roberts has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Pelicans trail by three. Holiday, the pass to Evans. Outside, Gordon. Pass to Z. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. The Clippers have gone 2 of 6 from the field. Crawford outside. Dishes to Douglas Roberts. It's Crawford with the drive. Count the bucket. Well, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. Al Holiday, he's coming off a 13-point game against Golden State. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, just call him buckets. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. Got to give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit, depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. And as you said with Jamal, a lot of players can't really make that change between being a starter or a sub. But he does it so smoothly in such short time, it really adds a lot of utility to this team. A Belligan's trail. And it's Gordon penetrating. That's good from Davis on the assist by Eric Gordon. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. So tough to see a player go down with an injury like this. Yeah, it really is, Steve. It's just one of those things, though. You've seen it happen before as well. And you can tell, whatever it is, it is painful for him. Los Angeles making a switch here. Reddick is checked in. Here's Paul. 
following the basket by Anthony Davis. And the dunk by Jordan. What a beautiful pass to set that one up. The pass might have been pretty, but the finish punch was angry. That's a heck of a combination. Pretty pass and an angry punch. I would call it an irate finish, even. Well, Crawford described it perfectly, Clark, when he said, as a six-man, you have to come in and force yourself into the game. As a starter, the pressure isn't there as much as you can go with the flow. Yeah, players like him can often do one or the other. Come in firing off the bench or let the game come to you, but rarely can they assess what the team needs like Crawford does and adjust on the fly so smoothly. Now, here is Davis. After the miss from Z, and you know that's going to be goaltending, guys, so that's a free basket right there. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. And the Clippers making a switch here. Hawes is checked in, passes it to Z. The second chance effort. They get it again. And finally, they hit one. So the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. Paul dishes to Hawes. Paul kicks to Reddick. They get a bet. Hawes. Some solid defense there from Z. The Pelicans have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Davis, the pass to Gordon. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Drains it from beyond the arc. Holiday's got seven points in the game. Los Angeles has gone just one of four from three point range here in the first. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's get a Doris Burke update on the injury to Crawford. Doris? Guys, the head athletic trainer for the Clippers provided some information for us. It's bad news, I'm afraid. He's saying that it looks like a broken ankle, which can truly be a devastating. That's it? And you know this, man. And it doesn't look too shot. 19 seconds left in the first quarter. And Holiday kicks to Ashik. Back to Holiday. Here's Rivers. Farmar takes it away. He can't get it to go. Well, up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? Pretty good start defensively. This club forced some mistakes and took advantage, and that's how they've built this lead. And they've built the lead because not only have they forced turnovers, but they've taken care of the ball themselves. So that's a winning combination. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Z in its center. Ryan Anderson out there with Anthony Davis. Then it's Holiday, and it's Rivers in at the shooting guard. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Z in the last matchup against the Warriors just played phenomenally. He finished with 34 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. Numbers like that are rare to see by any player in a game he'll always remember. All right, Doris, thank you. We played at a level that very few players are capable of playing, Clark. Yeah, I agree. I was just glad I got a chance to witness it. It's always such a special night when a player of his caliber gets so locked in and focused. And you know, in an 82-game season with so much talent, every once in a while, everything's going to click. I and mean, that was definitely the case that night. Right wing. Six to shoot. Evans passes to Z. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Obvious foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Guys, they're really passing the ball well here in the first half. They've established their presence in the paint tonight. Also, a lot of their scoring to this point coming from down low. Paul kicks to Douglas Roberts. Back to Paul. Douglas Roberts dishes to Paul. To the paint. Here's Hawks. Can't hit. Some solid defense from Z. New Orleans in the lead. The 7-1 Spencer Hawes, a finesse big man. Great skill level. Fourth among centers last season in assists. 
first among centers in three-pointers made. Heads up, aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him, took it straight to the basket. Ball outside. He kicks to Hawks. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Hawes got his second basket of the game. Sensational pass, even in mid-shot. He still saw the open man. Evans passes to Gordon. And he lays it straight in. Gordon's got the lead back up to three now for the Pelicans. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Paul goes in, the feet to Hawks. And it's the Clippers scoring again. Gotta love the inside out game there, guys. From long range or short, the small forwards on this list have been on target for the past 10 games, leading their percentage. percentage. Tyreek Evans, number one. And obviously looking at those numbers, he hasn't just been settling for outside shots. He really works hard to get good position on the inside to get some high quality looks. And that hard work is paired with a very aggressive mindset, Steve. I mean, he attacks the basket whenever he gets the chance, every opportunity, and a lot of his shots come right at the rim. The New Orleans Pelicans come into this one after the win against the Warriors in Oakland. How about the box score from that game? The accuracy from the three-point line, just remarkable. Yeah, it was a stream of threes that allowed them to repeatedly deflate that crap. Nothing fancy about that play. Just good, hard-nosed basketball to haul in the board. Douglas Roberts with the ball. And it's Gordon picking him up. And Douglas Roberts kicks to Hawes. And the officials call a traveling violation. And with a quick break in the action, let's take a look at some of the stats for Drew Holiday. He's averaging 11 points a game, five assists and two rebounds, and he's really been pulling his weight. We're finding his name in a lot of different columns in their box scores. Yeah, and that's what they're looking for from him, Steve. He doesn't have to be the star, just somebody with solid contributions across a wide range of areas. No good from Z. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. And there's a whistle that goes on Z. That's his third foul of the game. That's the risky run by staying out there as he picks up his third. Davis against Davis. Outside, Davis kicks it to Paul. On the wing, Douglas Roberts with the shot. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got five assists in the game. The Pelicans have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Holiday, the pass to Z. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Jordan, he's checked in for Spencer Hawks. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Pelicans? And right from the start, guys, it's apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. Something else they've done a good job of tonight, you know, right from the start, is penetrating and scoring. And Jordan has it in the corner. Now the dish to Bullock. Just five on the clock. Just his first attempt. Here's Davis. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. And Holiday kicks to Davis. So, for the Clippers, Reddick comes in for Reggie Bullock, and it's final in for Paul. And with a quick break in the action, let's take a look at some of the stats for DeAndre Jordan. Second in rebounding, second in blocks, and he's such an effective and an efficient offensive player. Number two in the league in field goal percentage. I think we should touch again quickly on his rebounding average, Steve. I mean, he's number two in the league in rebounding, and he does it with work ethic and tenacity. Now Farmer. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Washington. Douglas Roberts dishes to Farmer, buries it from three-point range. Farmer's got his first three points of the game. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. 
I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, the Clippers backcourt of Chris Paul and J.J. Redick, a great combo. But the two were bitter rivals playing in the ACC, even exchanging blows back in 2004. Riddick said, I knew he didn't like me, and I didn't like him either. Paul said it was their competitive natures that led them to clash. But guys, as teammates, they've become good friends. Yeah, sometimes the players you hate to face make the best teammates. Thanks, Doris. The shot will not go. Great D that time from Davis. For New Orleans, they've gone 6 of 11 from the floor. Over 50% shooting here in the second quarter. Well, Jordan Farmar spent a season playing in Turkey on a lucrative contract, but missed the NBA. And he came back to his hometown of L.A. last season playing with his old team, the Lakers. Now settled in with their crosstown rivals, the Clippers. Pass to Douglas Roberts. He dishes it to Farmar. Gets the 14 foot of the fall. Farmar's got his second bucket tonight. And Farmar battling injuries last season along with all the other Laker point guards. But when healthy, uh, he's a player. I agree. Athletic and with quickness to defend. Got a pretty good mix between scoring and playmaking, too. And just now entering the prime of his career. Now here's Reddick, defended by Gordon. And Reddick kicks to Davis. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Let's quickly take a look at the standings out west. The season nearly complete. Look at New Orleans. They're trying to get in the playoffs here. If they stay the course, they will. And of course, the Clippers, just a couple spots back. I think for Los Angeles, you know, they've had a down year so far by their standards. I'm sure this wasn't where they pictured themselves being in the standings right now. Well, they, they didn't picture themselves there, and neither did I, Clark. I mean, I, I think most people, in fact, thought that this would be an elite team, you know, like they were a year ago. But uh, it's been a drop-off, and uh, they, they've got to pick themselves up off the map. The Pelicans have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5-of-5 five five in that department. Tyreek Evans is an athletic slashing guard. He's really gifted at getting to the rim. But I think his outside shot, the inconsistency of his outside shot, has held him back a bit. Ironically, he's a pretty good free throw shooter, but still lacks that touch from mid-range on field goal attempts. The Clippers need to get off a shot. No good off the back of the rim. The Pelicans have gone 7-13 for the field since the start of the second. Z the pass to Washington. Rivers dishes to Anderson. Here's Z. Yes, guys, I'm here with Anthony Davis and Anthony. All right, listen up, everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first. If Assess what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. What a game we're seeing from Z. Yeah, he tore it up on the offensive glass in the first couple of quarters. Love the effort you're getting out of him. Incredibly persistent, which is what it takes to be a successful offensive rebounder. I should know. I used to Z. eat a lot of glass in my day. <laughs> <laughs> CP3 at point with Reddick there at the backcourt. One day to out there with Jordan. And it's Douglas Roberts in at the three spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Reddick with the three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Z's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Holiday, the pass to Z. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists tonight. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Paul kicks to Douglas Roberts. He sinks the 11-footer. Douglas Roberts has got 13. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. In the corner, it's Gordon. And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. Well, when you think of the great playmakers in league history, John Stockton per game averaged double-digit dimes. Think of this. For his career, 15,806 career assists. A record you knew right off would stand for a very long time. 
And he wasn't really a, a flashy passer like a lot of the great playmakers you think of, but just always in control. Kind of an old school game, but one that was tremendously successful over the course of his almost two decades with the Utah Jazz. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens. Especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. This New Orleans team is, is now in their second season as the Pelicans. The name, which was subject to some critique early on, has actually turned out to be nice for the franchise with a new group of players, new ownership, and it fits nicely into creating a new identity. And the offense continues to struggle. Just one make in their five attempts. Pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but a smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen. They sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. When you talk about the Pelican mascot, <laughs> Steve Wingspan, a term that definitely applies to this team and the young Anthony Davis. Yeah, it's a great name. You know, Davis was last year's leading shot blocker to go with 20 points and 10 boards a game. I mean, this guy is a potential superstar and obviously the key for this club moving forward. Evans goes in. High arcing shot. Good. They got on this roll a while ago and they just haven't looked back. And you know, a chance here to see where the Pelicans sit in the NBA statistically. Second in field goal percentage. Sixth in block. They're a top 10 team in three point shooting. Now let's talk about the shooting for a second, Clark, because when you look at that number, that's impressive. And that's a direct result of having a, a game plan every night, being well coached, disciplined, and really working hard and, and being unselfish in order to get good shots. New Orleans with the ball. They're on an 11-2 run. Well, this last season was in Clippers 30th in Los Angeles. And for a team that's long played in the Lakers' shadow, the second season in a row, the Clippers were the best team in L.A. And for the Clippers, in their 30 years in L.A., folks, only six times have they finished the regular season with a better winning percentage than the Lakers. Man, it's been domination by the Lakers out there in uh, L.A. land. So... Clipper fans are hoping that this is a sign of things to come going forward for their team, the Clippers. Douglas Roberts tries again, and the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. They have got to put a body on him, because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive glass. Gordon dishes to Holiday. Z covered by Reddick. Jumper off the screen, and the jumper is on the mark. Holiday's got the lead up to 13 now for the Pelicans. And guys, for the Clippers, acquiring coach Doc Rivers from the Celtics in exchange for a draft pick. In Boston, uh, he'd been the second longest tenured coach in the league after Greg Popovich. You know, but rather than rebuild, I think he, he wanted to go for another ring in L.A. He's got a lot of authority, final say on personnel decisions. So Doc has really put his stamp on this team. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Guys, Jamal Crawford fitting right in with the Los Angeles Clippers. He said, quote, this is the best team I've ever been on, and it's made me a better player. I've never played with someone like Chris Paul. He makes the game easy for me. I went my first 10 years in the league without making the playoffs, so that's all I want to do now. Kevin, over to you. In his instant offensive role, he's a big part of their success. Thanks, Doris. New Orleans with the ball. They're on a 17-6 run. Outside, Gordon. Evans outside. He feeds it to Davis. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. Looking at the game Douglas Roberts has been having, he's got 13 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. Well, they might want to think about setting a few more screens for him to try to give him another open look or two. Jordan Farmer, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Ryan Anderson, he's checked in for New Orleans. Rivers comes in for Drew Holiday. And Paul over to help. 
from past the arc. A nice shot by Rivers. And the Pelicans lead by 15. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Ball outside. Feeds it to Hawks from downtown. The shot no good. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Spencer Hawes, an early candidate last season for most improved player, but his his hot shooting steadily tailed off, Steve, with the Sixers last year. Yeah, month after month, you know, his field goal percentage and three-point percentage has dropped. Uh, but I thought he found new life when he was traded to the Cavs. Remember, when you're on a bad team, you're losing night after night. It, it can be disheartening. I think that might have been some of what we saw with Hawes and his numbers declining. Rivers kicks to Anderson, and he gets the bucket. Anderson's got his second basket of the game. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Omer Ash. And some of these distributors have been very hot from beyond the arc this season. The best three-point shooting point guards in the league. Number one, Chris Paul. His first job is to orchestrate for his teammates, but being as fantastic as he is at shooting the three he's never reluctant to take that shot if it's available to him nor should he be i mean i tell you what i would give him the green light every time down although he probably already has it rivers passes to z hits some rim on the way in and the bucket's good z's got eight points in the quarter you know offensively his quarter has been perfect not a single missed shot they got to keep riding it Farmar dishes to Douglas Roberts. Good, and Farmar gets the assist. Douglas Roberts has got 16. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Douglas Roberts against Anderson. Six on the shot clock, three-pointer. And there's a whistle. That goes on Z. That's his fifth foul. Boy, it's been a tough go in terms of fouls for him. I mean, my goodness, he can't stay out of the way of fouls. Glenn Davis has checked in for Jordan. In the corner, Douglas Roberts with it. Back to Paul. He kicks it to Farmar. Davis with a screen on Rivers. Outside, Davis. Paul, no one around him. And the three off target. Boy, they've really dominated on the glass. And, of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. Rivers kicks to Gordon. Nailed from three-point land. Gordon's got eight points here in this quarter. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Here's Farmar. He's guarded by Rivers. Douglas Roberts passes to Farmar. Paul dishes to Douglas Roberts. And they come right back with their own three-point. Douglas Roberts has got 19 points. Now Rivers. Right now averaging seven points a game. The pass to Z. Dishes it to Rivers. Gordon with no one around. Trying to answer back, but that three is off. And Clippers trail by 13 on the court for the Pelicans. Getting the fourth quarter going. Holiday and Evans comprise the backcourt. Omer Ashik is out there with Ryan Anderson, and it's Z at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Farmar. And here is Hawes. Pass to Farmar. Shot clock at six. Second chance shot, and he lays it up and in. Farmar's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Clippers. Holiday with it. They set the pick. Evans outside. Passes to Z. Second shot opportunity. Pause with the rebound. 
Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic. Farmar kicks to Paul. Hawes, the pass to Reddick. Now the feed to Hawes. Now here's Reddick. He's tightly guarded. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Holiday, the pass to Z. Tries from 10. And he overshot that one, missing. Clippers trail by nine. Farmar dishes to Paul. Kicks to Farmar. Back to Paul. Just five on the clock. And easy two points on the way. Signature basket for him there. And, you know, they can turn this deficit around pretty quickly if he gets on a roll. Outside Holiday. And Anderson kicks to Holiday. Paul against Evans. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Pelicans lead by nine. And he just used his height that time down low. That's going to be pretty hard to defend against. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Clippers. Douglas Roberts comes in for J.J. Reddick. And a change for the Pelicans. Davis is checked in. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, over that last break, I listened to Doc Rivers address his team. He didn't exactly take it easy on them, saying, how much do you want it? Don't tell me. Show me out there. We have to play better. We have to play harder if we're going to come back. Guys? There's a good screen. Outside Holiday. Evans outside. The pass to Z. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point plus. Well, second chance points are not easy to come by, but when you work as hard as he has today, it becomes a lot easier. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Anderson. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. And then look at the points in the paint, because they're really winning that battle tonight. Paul can't get it to go. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. A ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. I think that's what's put them in front here. Things have kind of gone south for them here in the quarter. Here's Farmar. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Pelicans leading by nine. Evans left side. Pass to Z. The basket good off the assist from Evans. 25 points for Z. Well, he recognized the advantage size-wise, and he went right at the defender. That's how you do it. Paul kicks to Douglas Roberts. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Davis with the block, but he recovers it. Paul outside, beyond the arc, and it's good. They've gotten some good second chances here in the second half, and, and that kind of extra effort will go a long way into cutting into this deficit. Holiday, the pass to Evans. And Douglas Roberts is going to pick up the foul. Z, guarded by Jordan. Here's Z. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Z's got 14 points here in the second half. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. On the wing, Douglas Roberts, defended by Gordon. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Shooting for Los Angeles. And the technical free throw is good. Chris Paul, arguably the league's best point guard, and he does have the best player efficiency rating of any point guard in the history of the rating. If you 
future Hall of Famer. This is an all-time great to watch him play right now. Bill Cox has checked in for the Clippers. And making a change here. Cunningham's checked in. New Orleans leading by seven. Now here is Holiday. Baseline jumper. Another one falls for New Orleans. Then you talk about Chris Paul's statistical resume. You know, that often overlooks his defense, but he's a perennial all-NBA defense selection over the last seven years or so. He's a lead at both ends. Douglas Roberts dishes to Cunningham. Right side, Jordan. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Throws down the alley-oop slam. A surreal alley-oop that time, Parker. The pass, Clark, the catch, the dunk, all of it perfect. Precision at its finest. Yeah, and it all had to be perfect and in precision. That's not nearly as easy as they made it look. Here's Z. No luck. And Chris Paul, such a scrappy defender, Clark, the league leader in steals per game for four straight years. Yeah, he's got such quick hands, and really what makes him so dangerous defensively is, an, is his anticipation. I've watched him off the ball a lot defensively. He just anticipates where that pass is going, and then he gets there right in the hurry. Back to Holiday. Davis gets to Holiday. Shot clock at six. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. Tries it from the top of the key. And Evans the basket on the assist by Holiday. And that's now 10 points for Tyreek Evans. Pito Turkoglu. Pito Turkoglu. All up top, guarded by Holiday. Ball passes to Turkoglu. Back to Paul. Kicks it out to Turkoglu. Fires for three. And the shot is good. Oh, you got a big man who can shoot from distance like he can. What a huge bonus that is. Pelicans leading by six. And Holiday kicks to Gordon. Davis against Davis. Gordon for three. That's in there. Davis with the assist. 15 points for Eric Gordon. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. And they get it there. New Orleans has gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Holiday up top. Douglas Roberts against Evans. The dish to Gordon. Pass to Holiday. Lock at six. Here's C. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Douglas Roberts dishes to Paul. It falls! And now they trail by just four. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Reggie Bullock, who's checked in for Los Angeles. The Pelicans have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. And so they foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. They both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Well done at the free throw line. I'll tell you what, that will make things a lot easier if they can continue to convert. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Stolen by Holiday. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Institutions. And here we go with Chris Paul. Douglas Roberts passes to Paul. And it's off from three-point range. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And the Clippers making a change here. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. Off target. So New Orleans wins it. 